Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sure everybody is pretty much already cleaning out their backpacks, if they haven't already, because summer break is right upon us. But, I'm in cyber school instead of a brick and mortar public school. So today, we're cleaning out my computer for summer break. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we are cleaning out my computer for summer break today. It is officially Thursday, June 1st. You guys will be seeing this video on the last day of the school year, which is Tuesday, June 6th. So I'll be posting this video as a premiere for Tuesday, June 6th, which is not that far away. It's June 1st. We have tomorrow, Friday, June 2nd. Then we have the weekend off third and the fourth we go Monday the fifth and we have off Friday the sixth or I'm sorry Tuesday the sixth we are as our last day so let me share my screen my picture is still down here in the bottom right corner of your video we just let out a tweet on Twitter um because I want to let you guys know that I was filming a new video today so, we're doing a lot of stuff here for summer. I want to change my, um, it's just like a, like a whole reorganization, but we're also getting rid of stuff in my computer. So, this is my computer's home screen. This folder is for screenshots. This is for work. This is for personal. This is for school. Finance and pictures. But we're going to do the school. Right here is an archives folder. So, we're going to have the 2022 to 2023 school year. And we're going to prepare another one for next year. Okay. Um, so we're just going to take this little folder right here. All the work is submitted. And we're just going to boop right in the archives. There went the whole backpack. Um, and all the folders and all the textbooks and all of that. Let's create a brand new folder. And we're going to call this school 23-24 some, uh, school year. And then inside of here, I'm going to create school 2324S for semester one. And then I'm going to do another folder, school 2324 semester two. And that's how everything should be organized for this right here. Okay, guys, I am back. I had to take an important phone call here. Um, so, back in the school folder. So, now we have everything in the archives. So this is my school from last year. I deleted my semester one, but I actually kept my semester two documents from last year. And I was happy to keep this because I did like to look back at all this. So I did want to keep all of this year's stuff, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So... Um, next year we will make a video close to the end of the school year, which will go over all of the classes and I'll put them all in there for semester one. So now I want to change something else. So if I go into my Chrome here and I open up Chrome, um, okay, I guess I already fixed that. It used to open up my class link, but I did change that. Now I forgot about that. So it's all changed. Um, I just want to check a few more um, due dates and stuff for my classwork and everything. So let's go ahead and do that here. Um, we'll go to the online school and we'll check out Link it. I know I already completed all that. So it's just this right here. Okay. So everything has all been completed except one item. I'm not completing that assignment. I don't need to complete that one. Um, that's only for people who are doing these, um, the subsidiary ledgers and accounting. And I'm doing the general one. Okay, and we're going to get rid of all of this stuff here in this little checkpoint because I already completed this stuff earlier this morning. And, sorry, my phone just fell. Okay, and this is the official website. Everything is all done. Now, let's head over here to my email for my school email. Okay.
Okay. And in here... We have all of this stuff in here. So let's just go ahead and grab all of these. Now these are all selected. I'm going to scroll down and unselect any submission receipts because those I like to put into a different folder. Okay, now these are submission receipts. And then um, that is all for Keystone testing last week. That's a submission receipt. And these are all done. I'm going to move these into my 2022-2023 school year folder. And I'm going to put these into my submission receipt folder. Was there more? I thought I saw more emails that were starting to load. Let me refresh. It appears not. Um, I'm just going to scroll down here and just click this little button and mark them all as red. Okay. And same thing in here. Mark them all as red. Okay, and then my drafts. I'm just going to leave my drafts just sit there, but I really haven't done much. So yeah, I've been with this school now since 2018. Actually, it was 2019, but it was the 2018-2019 school year. Um, and that's how long I've been with um, this school, and I love this school. Um, and we have a 2019-2020 school year, 2020-2021, and 22 to 23 conversation history. I don't really need that. These were Keystones 2022. Let me move these from this folder for Keystones this year. So this was Keystone. This was Keystone. This was a Keystone. This was for Keystone. This was for Keystone. 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 Emergency contact Keystone. I believe that was it for Keystones. I'm going to move these into a new folder and we're going to call this Keystones 2023. Okay, save. And now we have a Keystones 2023, which has all the important emails from these Keystones. So that is officially it for cleaning out the school email. Now I'm going to move over to Notability. Which, and then we're going to put a new wallpaper on my MacBook. And this is like just preparing us for summer. So let me share my iPad screen with you guys. I got to just start my little screen share. Okay, you guys should be able to see my screen now. Um, my picture should still be in the bottom of the screen. I'm going to unplug my iPad. It's charged up enough. Um, I don't know what that button does. Anyway, um, okay, so... We have all of this stuff here on my iPad, but we're going to go into Notability. We also got to go into our Notion and clean out all of the school stuff from this year. I'm going to put it into like an archive folder. So here was school archives from 21-22. Here was 22-23 semester one um, school year, which turned into the entire semester because I never recreated it. So I'm just going to rename it and just call it semester two. not 52 semester two thank you okay so um oh it wasn't semester two we just want to just totally just take out the entire thing so just take this out okay so school 22 20 22 23 archives now let's just create a new divider a new subject a new divider and this divider is going to be called archives perfect and then done and then i'm just going to bring this divider oops oops let's not use the pencil because it's kind of being wonky and I'm just going to put this down here in archives and put this in archives and then move the archives up at the top. Now, uneducational sections. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So now we just got to create a new school section for next year. So let's create a new divider and it's going to be called. Oops. 
school 2324 and let's create two more not a okay yeah a, di a subject could work <coughs> yeah we want a, we wanted a section or a subject school two three two four semester one why did it go as school it needs to be school okay school okay school two three two four s one i'm gonna make it like this like turquoise i like like this color right here that color is cool too let's use this color i like that okay so then we're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna do a school two three two four semester two subject school two three two four s two okay and then this color right here i'm going to edit this one and we're just going to make it this more greener option okay and then this welcome thing can be moved to the top of this i don't i don't want that there okay there we go now archives is in there and then we have uneducational sections like welcome what is the welcome I, okay whatever i'll just keep that in there and finance personal planning jesus and randoms okay so i'm going to be more into notability this summer i want to start doing like a diary in notability i really like it it works good so there is that now let's jump back over onto my computer after i update my ipad wallpaper let's do that real quick so forgot i only have one screen for my ipad now and it's hard to find where things are because I forgot I haven't used my iPad for a while. Okay, wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, stills. I want this one. Uh, I like it, but they don't have one. It doesn't like a cartoon form, do they? Okay, that's okay. <clears throat> How, how's this one look? I like that one, but how's this one? I like this one, I think. Yeah, let's do this one. That was nice. Lock screen. Okay, so there's my iPad. It's all organized. I might do something different later, but for now, that's what I want on my screen. Okay, so uh, back to my MacBook now. You guys should be able to see my MacBook screen once again. You can, perfect. Um, so let's go on to here and let's go to Pinterest. I might end up using Canva, so I'm just gonna have Canva open in the background just in case. Um, let's see. Let's do summer MacBook wallpaper. I like to get like a calendar and everything. So here's oh modern. What's that? Yeah, but it's not for my MacBook. It doesn't. They're all they're all like this. These are okay, but let's let's just use Canva. I have Canva Pro right now, so let's just go ahead and use Canva MacBook. I actually want to use desktop wallpaper, right? Wallpaper. Oops, I forgot the R. Desktop wallpaper. Okay. Peach, red and peach and red floral. This is cool, but I don't know how I like it. So let me just keep it in the other tab and let's keep looking. Oh, these are the ones that I already was going to use. I was going to use that, but I never did templates there we go that's what i wanted okay i really want like a calendar like something like this is this cool folders reminders but these are more like fall dark blue night sky tomorrow is a new day are you ready for something wonderful i'm ready Ooh, i like this one january and then you just like update the calendar this is cool okay let me keep this share let me just bookmark this in the bookmark scar temp delete after template delete after oh i don't i don't want to lose it um okay what else is here i don't know i just don't want my picture on my macbook like <laughs> I, I just don't know why oh this charcoal is cute just keep moving forward this feels like it's more fall though, like a light tan and all that. Oh, I like this brown. Oh my gosh. 
I could put a sticky note in here because I don't like, like, I don't know how you would do the music. Notes. There's a few pictures which I actually like. The time I really hate because, like, I can't fix the time. So, like, I would have to just, like, take off the time. Application. Task and work. I can make that folders and then task and work. I could just have, like, put, like, tasks and work and stuff that I need to do. Like, have, like, another, like, sticky note. I don't know. I don't like that one. It's too warm. It's morally, like, summer. That's why I want something morally, like, brighter. Oh, this is pretty. I like the blue. That's so cute. Let's do, let's do blue. I really like the blue. Blue modern desktop wallpaper. I'll keep this one. Blue temp. Complete after. Okay. Um, what else do they got in here? I want to find something that I truly like. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get something that I'm not going to like. There's the blue. There's the natural. There's the... Huh. I was kind of looking for something more of, like... But I want something like this. Like, I want the organizer one. Is it called? Yeah, organizer desktop wallpaper. Okay, let me look up an organizer desktop wallpaper. Organ, organizer desktop wallpaper. Let's try that. Here we go. Now we got some nice ones coming in. Purple. This is a nice beige. Just like a cool beige. May, 05 for May, and then you have all of this. I like this one. I think if I just click the little star button, you can view all of your starred stuff. Yeah, somehow. I don't know how you how you view it, but somewhere you can you can view it. There we go. There's starred. Okay, so I can find my I'll find my way back to all my starred stuff then. Um This is really cute. But again, I, it really fits the August, not so much June. This is nice. But I don't really like all that blue. I know, I'm so indecisive, everybody. I know. The clouds are nice. But then again, the song is there. I need something different. What is this one? I know I can change the background, but like, it's going to be so hard for me to find a background. So I want to find one that actually like fits my... like. I found it. I found it. I found my section. I like this one, but I, I just don't like the little monthly color palette. Like, I need something different. Software. I can do folders, and then I can do important files. I like that. Quote of the month. And then I can write stuff all in here. Or here's this one. Look, it's already made for June. June 2023. Best photo, personal, notes. Daily motivation. You have the power to protect your peace. Uh, I don't know. Not my 100% favorite, but... I'm liking these designs. To-do list. I think I like this one the best. Let's customize it. Let's use this one. But I like how the other one looks. Because, like, where is it? It's right here. And, like, ugh, it just looks so good. What could I put where, like, the monthly color palette is? Like, I guess I could put, like, a spot for, like, a sticky note. But I hardly ever use sticky notes. So, we have, this one we have a quote of the of the month. Sorry, my recliner keeps on, like, folding. So if we have software, we can take the notes and change that into folders. 
don't know why my recliner keeps folding. <laughs> okay. Um, so then we have the to-do list. We can change that into important files or change apps into important files. Because I want it to look clean. It's so like no more than like three apps could fit in there. And then add a picture right here. And then add a spot for a quote of the month. But the calendar's in here. That's why the calendar is so much more bigger. But I do like how the setup is on this one. Plus, that's going to be blocked off by my, by my bar down here. Let's just use this one. I like this one. Okay, so let's just zoom in a little bit. That way we can see better. And let's get working on this. So everything's right, but we need to change it to June. So let's just do June... 2023 and then it's officially now June so the first is on a Thursday this will take a little while to, to do this so the first is on a Thursday so first okay so we're gonna go like okay I know where we're gonna go so the first the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, and I'm going to use the signature thing to write stuff in, but I'm not going to, like, do that much. Oh, I'm gonna, like, I am, but never mind. I don't know what I'm trying to say. 11th, the 12th, and they had that circled, so... Oh, well, why is that circled? Oh, that's middle of the month, isn't it? One, two. Yeah, that's middle of the month, I guess, what that means. Meet this bar. The 13th, the 14th. I'm moving these in a total opposite spot. Okay, I'll move this one over a little bit more to fit in that bubble. The 15th. The 16th. The 17th. The 18th. 19th. 20th. 21st. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. Oh, this is circled again. Oh no, I can't move the 29th. Okay. going to have to block this off. Draw. That's the wrong color. That's the correct color. Okay, can we go back and back? Take the circle out too. I can actually remove the circle from the other one if I go up here and I do that real quick. It doesn't match. How does it match down there but it doesn't match up here? That's really weird. Maybe I can make it match. Oh, because I'm a... Huh? Yeah, not, neither one of them match. Huh. color picker. There we go. Now it matches. Almost. You can kind of see it, but not really. I did too much. Okay, you shouldn't be able to see it on your all the way out here, like looking at your photo. That one's perfect. So, okay. <clears throat> now I need to... Oops. Don't want to do that. Now text. I need to grab this and bring it right here duplicate this and add it right here and we're going to add 29th. And then we're going to have to add another one right here 
at this spot, and that's going to be the 14th. Okay, now let's take a look and see what this looks like. I love it. Okay, now let's go in here and clean up this entire calendar now. Okay, so let's just bring in this little signature thing. I'm just going to add a few of these. As I need them, I'll use them. Okay, so Friday, June 2nd. I'm just going to have a little thing that says finance. And that's going to come in every single Friday. It can already know that I want it in there every single Friday. It's already making an estimate. Okay, so every single Friday will be finance day because it always is finance day. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Saturday night is going to be church. Night church service. And that's going to be every Saturday night. This is going to be a really full calendar night church service okay and then every tuesday is going to be i don't or any monday but i don't have to add like my trash i know my trash is going i wouldn't even have to add the saturday night church service because it like takes up too much space um there's no holidays this month. June 6th is the last day of school. So let's add that in there. Last day of school. And add that right in there. Okay, what is all going on this month? Is there a lot going on? Um... Yeah, I forgot. I'm doing a mental day on Friday, so I'm just going to have tomorrow is my mental day. And I'm going to schedule me. That's why there's a shadow that was in here. Okay, mental day on Friday. I'm just going to do MD. MD. It looks like, like, a, like a doctor, but no, it's actually a mental day. I'm just going to do ment day. There we go, that fits. Ment day. <clears throat> <coughs> okay. Now, this video is kind of getting long. Let's get it going here. Um, Friday is also a half a day. How am I going to fit all of this into here? Let me draw this in, and I'm just going to draw it in this like black color. I'm just going to do um, one ooh, so big. Literally, I need size, like, one, and then take that, and just erase it. No, shoot. I'm going to have to, like, physically go ahead and, like, add, like, a half in here. Because I need this to be totally added into here separately in a half a day. Okay, let me add in a little one here. It doesn't even want to add like my one. Look at it. What is wrong with it? Okay, I'm just gonna do like little text. Just like make this like copy it, but make it, I'm just gonna do like a little, make it so small. Fit the one over two day, half day. Okay. Now, what else is going on this month? We have the weekend, and then we have last day of school. We get into the 11th, the 12th, 13th, 14th. Uh, what was that? 15th? Okay. 16th, 17th. The 18th is Father's Day, Sunday the 18th. Okay, Father's Day on the 18th. There are no birthdays this month. 
that's pretty good. <clears throat> and that's it for this month. That is pretty much all that I have to add. I did want to just grab my little mental day thing and add another little mental day, which I think we're going to do probably sometime in throughout here. Um, let's get rid of Easter Monday, because it's no longer Easter Monday. Let's add it right here on Wednesday the 14th. I'm going to take a mental day. Okay, so there's my calendar for June. It's pretty empty. Um, now up here where it says software, this is now going to be changed. We're going to call this... <clears throat> files. Actually, we're going to call it file folders. This right here, I'm going to keep important files. I think, and I kind of want to change that photo. It's not, it's not me. Like, it's just, it's not me. Um, that, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to use, like, important files. Like, I keep everything in my file folders. That's always what I do. So, like, what can I change it to? Um. <sighs> Only thing would be, like, a sticky note. That's about it. I'll keep it important files. Um, quote of the month. Okay, there is some little spots in here that you can add. So we're gonna get um, verse of the month. Bible verse for encouragement. I like that. Isaiah 41. Here we go. 15 Bible verses to encourage you. In the world you will have tribulation, but take part. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. I like that one. Verse of the month. And then I'm just going to put a little part down here. John 16, verse 33. Okay, and then I'm just going to put right here copy all this and take out the John 16:33 and then in the world you will have tribulation but take heart I have overcome the world Okay, dear self. I like the little dear self too if I could just like rotate it a little bit more. Oh, there it is. Dear self yourself in the world you will have tribulation but take heart I have overcome the world and rotate it like this you got this XL you I like how it like the you lines up that's supposed to be on my screen or something and then I'm just gonna like edit this little bit of text and I'm gonna put you in all capitals you will have tribulation but take heart i have overcome the world okay and then i'm just going to grab this and make it a little bit bigger and just circle that you okay now this picture i like but we're just going to click this little button right here and delete it um, and then we'll just add a new photo in there. So let's go to this little section here, elements. Where is it? Uploads, not uploads. Text, apps, draw, text, photos. There we go, photos, and then you can search the photos pro, and I'm just going to do beige aesthetic plant or something, like a plant. Perfect. That is honestly good, but let me see what else they have. That's a little, but it does match a lot more, but it's like too orange. OK, 
Okay, I guess this is good. Just drop that in there. And then just bring it so it's lined up. Okay. Perfect, right there. And then just put that little circle around it. And there we go. And then I'm just going to add another double circle and make it a little bit bigger. Like, not that big, but and it's kind of big. Eh, that's not really necessary. Okay, and then June 2023 file folders. I just want to take a little of this signature. I want to uh, duplicate it. I want to make the size pretty big, and I just want to sign my name on the top bar of the screen. So we'll do, like, size, like, I don't know, 70 maybe. And then I'm just going to do Austin B. Because I want it to be like, my, like, be like my own. Like, I did most of this. So. And then just sign it, like, right here. Is good. Because my bar will be, like, right down here. So if I do it, like, right, it would almost have to be, like, right there. Unless I put it here, like, my bar. Again, my bar's on the cover a portion. But that would probably be, like, the middle of my screen, right? Right there is in the middle, it says. Okay, let's try this. Download as a PNG, and let's see what it looks like. Okay. Settings. Wallpaper. Downloads. That's good. But like that, I figured that would need to be over some more. So let's just put it. It's in like the center of this, right? It's like on the corner. That's that's like perfect, right? Like that. Okay. Let's let's download this again. Redownload it. Download it again. Go back into here and wait for it to download again. There we go. It is. There it is. Close it. Perfect. Austin B. And then I have, dear self, in the world you will have tribulations. I have my whole calendar. I can see finance, mental day, a half a day. Okay. So now these are not going to snap to grid because they need to be... Yeah, look, it just like the grid is like terrible on this. Okay. So let's click this right click. Show view. No, sort by none. And then let me just place all of these down. Screenshots, work, personal, school. I don't like four. Let's just do like three. If I can like fit like three perfectly along here. That's the problem. Like I can't get them straight. A little more room this way. Move this one a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's good. And the um, maybe this one comes down like a little hair. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, <clears throat> let's um, get info on these, and then let me go into my Finder, and then I think I put it on Desktop. I believe it was Personal and Haley's World folder pastel folder icons no Haley's world no these are it okay and then I'm gonna I like the pale because they don't really have like a beige so I guess I have to use pale unless I use use navy blue or something I actually like the navy blue. It looks like classic. Okay, let's see the navy blue. Okay, block those out. And then let's get this. these two little folders. Do we only have five folders? Okay, no, we have more. Okay, get info. Navy blue. Navy blue, navy blue, and then X all these out. I love the navy blue. It looks so good. Okay. And now just import it. That's a 
a little too high now, right there. That's still a little too high. That's good. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry. Was checking in on a session before it starts. Okay. That's it. Um, as far as important files go, I'm going to be getting... Um, I'm going to make a file here for like finance and stuff like that, but that's pretty much it. We got rid of all the archives for the school year this year. We got the full um, screen made on my computer, and we went over my iPad and got rid of all this stuff and notability. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Have a great summer.